good morning let us study today high symmetry point groups three high symmetry molecules the point groups possessed by very high symmetry molecules are called high symmetry point groups there are two types of there are three types of um, high very high symmetry point groups one is tetrahedral another is octahedral the third one is icosahedral for example fullerenes soccer fullerenes or soccer football the tetrahedral and octahedral point groups are collectively called cubic point groups what are called cubic point groups the tetrahedral and octahedral point groups are known as cubic point groups why they are called we will see further what is the speciality what is the significance what is the characteristics of high very high symmetry point groups in very high symmetry point groups the principal axis of symmetry occurs in multiples or there, is, there are more than one principal axis of symmetry this is the speciality of high symmetry point groups for example in uh, in low symmetry in low symmetry water molecule what is the principal axis of symmetry c2 how many times it occurs only once c2 is present in low symmetry molecule only one principal axis is present for example another molecule in ammonia c3 is the principal axis of symmetry it occurs only one time whereas in very high symmetry point groups the principal axis of symmetry is present more than once we will see further with the examples let us first study tetrahedral cubic point group there are two types of tetrahedral point groups t point group and td point group what is called t point group the principal axis of symmetry in tetrahedral point group is t3 axis of symmetry the principal axis of symmetry as i said earlier you see t it occurs eight times it occurs eight, there are eight c3 axis of symmetry you will see further with the diagram and there are three in addition there are three c2 axis of subsidiary axis of symmetry this is the principal axis of symmetry and there are three subsidiary axis of symmetry they are nothing but along the x axis y axis z axis so it consists of only rotational axis of symmetry t point group consists of only rotational e is present in all the point group identity element operation it is called therefore only rotational point groups are rotational axis of symmetry are present it is called a pure rotational point group because it does not consists of uh, plane of symmetry or center of inverse and improper axis of symmetry they are all absent in in this point group for example si ch4 si ch3 410 is an example for t point group t point group consists of uh, e 8 c3 8 times c3 uh, symmetry rotation and 3 times c2 symmetry subsidiary axis of symmetry let us now study dd point group what is called tetrahedral point group in addition to t symmetry operation dd consists of 6s4 and 6 sigma d plane of symmetry present in it for example ccl4 or ch4 this sigma d and s4 are collinear or parallel with the c2 axis of symmetry or parallel with the c2 axis of symmetry when you add these two symmetry or symmetry operations to t point group you we will get a complete full point group called td point group the order of this group is 24 what is order of the point group the total number of symmetry operations the total number of symmetry operations present in dd point group is the order of the group 
For example, there are 24 symmetry operations present in fine uh, group. This, let us uh, draw and label the various symmetry operations present in very high symmetry fine group molecules, for example, PD and OH fine group. Let us see here TD fine group. I have I have ins inscribed PH4 molecule or CCL4 molecule within a cube. The molecule, the tetrahedral molecule is drawn within a in a cube. Okay. How it is drawn? Please put carbon carbon at the body center, at the center of the cube, okay, and the substituents hydrogen or chlorine, and the alternate corners, there are 8 corners, how many corners are present in a cube, there are 8 corners, 4 and 4, in alternate corners, you place one hydrogen atom, for example, hydrogen atom here, no hydrogen atom here, alternate pieces. Now, let us all the sketch the various symmetry operations and in tetrahedral fine group. For example, here there are eight C3 principal axis of symmetry. There are eight corners, therefore, there are eight C C3 operations along the along this axis. And then there are three C2 subsidiary axis of symmetry. That is along x axis, y axis, and z axis. And S4 is collinear, S4 improper axis of symmetry. I have already explained this S4, I have sketched uh, and explained the X4 improper axis of symmetry uh, in previous video. Please draw that also here S4 axis of improper axis of symmetry. And Sigma D, S4 or collinear with C2, collinear with or parallel to C2. The order of the tetrahedral fine group is 24. Okay. Let us study here octahedral fine group. It is also one of the cubic fine group. We will see, we will draw the molecule. There are two types of octahedral fine group. Pine group and OH pine group. Let us first see what is called O pine group. In octahedral pine group, the principal axis of symmetry is C4. See, in tetrahedral, in tetrahedron, the principal axis of symmetry is C3. It occurs eight times, that is more than once. Whereas in low symmetry molecule, the principal axis of symmetry occurs only once. Here there are six C4 axis of symmetry. Okay. And when the group contains only rotational axis, you see O, o group, O pine group contain only rotational pine groups. Therefore, it is also purely rotational pine group. Okay. The order of O pine group is 24 because there are 24 symmetry operations here. Let us see here octahedral pine group OH. We have already seen O pine group. In this I have inscribed SF6 molecule within a cube. The SF6 molecule is drawn with inside the cube. That is why it is called cubic pine group. Octahedral and tetrahedral are cubic pine groups because these molecules are within actually a cube, within cubes. So, in addition to tetrahedral point group C, they have additionally 6 C4, 6 C4 along, for example, here along this one, this one, this one C4. I, uh, you, I have not mentioned here, you can also put C4 here, C4. There are 6 C4 along the bond axis, along the bond axis, okay, and there are 6 C2 axis, 
six C2 axis. Similarly, there are six bonds. Therefore, six C2 axis, C4, C2, and S4 are collinear. Are collinear. Uh, the symmetry axis are collinear. Okay. And I is present here, and S6 in addition to S4, OH pine group has S6 improper axis of symmetry and the three horizontal plane of symmetry sigma h three here one here and if you rotate so you will have three sigma h this is the sigma h the sigma h plane is perpendicular to the principal axis of symmetry c4 c4 is this side okay and this is uh, sigma h is perpendicular to c4 plane of principal axis of symmetry sigma d actually c2 there are um, six uh, C2 subsymmetry are shown here and the sigma D bisects the two C2 axis of symmetry. Okay, so thank you for watching. In addition to DD, they have these symmetry operations. The order of the group, the order of the group octagonal pine group is 40. So there are 48 symmetry operations. Thank you for watching.